Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. So if you saw the live stream today, we broke down the AMC earnings report. I'm going to give you just a brief overview of what happened today. Um, well, let's go look at it. So this is going to be the quarterly report and the annual report for AMC movie theaters. As we look at it, just a quick review. Um, it looks like AMC came in at $3.9 $3 billion for the year. It was up over last year, but of course it's down compared to the 2019, 2018 years. They have a lot of room to go up. They need to go up by about a, a billion and a half uh, just to break even with those previous years. Um, the net loss for the year was almost a billion dollars. So they lost $973 million. I would tell you guys that's a scary number considering the cash that's left on hand. Um, you couldn't survive another year with the current business model. Uh, so I'm nervous. I'm nervous for any investor because of the covenants that were waived. Uh, these guys have to, and I'm telling you, they have to sell shares. They have to raise capital of some kind, but it's not via the business model of watching and showing movies. It's versus you know selling off the portions of their company to any investor. Um, I don't know if it's at the market or if it's going to be private equity coming in, but they're going to need some type of cash infusion to survive. Um, that's what that tells you. To lose a billion dollars, even when you had Top Gun, you had Avatar, you had um, Wakanda, you had Jurassic Park, you had Minions, you had movies. We just didn't have enough to move the needle. And if you think you're going to make up a billion dollars, guys, we have to be realistic of what a billion dollars is. Um, they came in for this quarter at $990 million. They missed Wall Street projections on that number. They managed to lose $287 million this quarter. The cash burn is equivalent to the previous quarter. They're, they're consistent with losing this much cash. The unfortunate part is Adam Aaron and the leadership, I don't even think they believe in their ability to get this back. That's why they're asking you to vote, you know, vote yes on the proposal to do a stock split, to do a reverse stock split, to convert shares from APE to AMC that will then give them the power to dilute the flow even further. So as an investor, when I look at numbers like this, where you know the revenue's down and the losses are massive, and they're double of what they were last year, this same quarter. Uh, it's just showing you that this company can smoke and mirror all they want with the next idea, but it's not hitting the bottom line. I give them a year. I give them this year to sell off as many, as many shares as they can to dilute your investment if you're invested, but they still have to file for bankruptcy. There's still going to be covenants that will be exercised at some point. When the three banks that agreed not to exercise them this year, they waived them. That gave AMC a little bit of wiggle room, but it's going to go away really quick. If you heard Adam Aaron during the earnings call, he literally said, he said, guys, we have to make the right play at the right time. Because if we mess up, if we even misstep one, we will have to file for bankruptcy immediately. And he said that verbatim. And I'm just telling you guys, I've been watching this stock for two years. I've been at every single earnings call uh, for the last two years as well. And this is not a company that projects strength. The balance sheet says completely otherwise as far as it being strong. Um, he says, we're so strong. We have, we're have strengthening, strengthening, strengthening. And in the same breath, he says, we're, we're on the verge of bankruptcy. So it's not really that strong. It's, it's, um, it's frail. So enjoy the investment. Unfortunately, guys, if you're looking for a short squeeze, I don't see that one coming either. I don't want to be the bear of all bad news to you guys, but I will tell you this. If you're investing to AMC, pay attention to the chart every day. Sleep with one eye open. Be nervous. Be all of the above. Because if you don't have an ounce of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, then you're just not paying attention. I wish you the best of luck. That's my stance. It's going to be my stance until I see otherwise. And uh, we'll see how the popcorn thing works out, which I don't think it'll hit the bottom line anytime soon. I know credit cards won't produce a profit to them either, nor an expense. It kind of goes half and half. But uh, I'm still looking for a business model that's going to make money in this current environment, in this new industry that is movie theaters. Good luck, guys. And um, that's all I have to say in a short clip. Good luck. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'm all day on GameStop. AMC, I would never touch it. Peace.